Joining me now, the managing partner of Airline Weekly, Seth Kaplan, who is also author of a book about Delta called Glory Lost and Found. Seth, thanks for joining us. And I guess the obvious question is, how can a power outage cause so much havoc on one of the world's most busy airlines? The obvious question, Chris, the, the answer is not so obvious, something that Delta certainly uh, is looking into. Airlines, you know, they always think they have all the redundancies in place to prevent that. Uh, but then there's just no way to really test everything in a live environment until something like this happens. And obviously, uh, something went very wrong this morning. And we're getting pictures from social media around the world showing just how it is massive lines at Delta Airport counters everywhere. So what's a person to do if they're on one of those long lines? I, I can't stand to wait in those lines. I'm getting on the phone, but then you get, you know, unusual wait times. I mean, really, what are your options? Yeah, we'll do all of it. You know, one thing, Chris, is, you know, we so we rely so much on technology these days and, and technology is great when it does work. But on a day like this, it's good to have a printout of, of everything. There were reports earlier today of uh, you know some airport agents handwriting boarding passes, for example. So whatever you can do to show that you're supposed to be on that flight might not solve everything, but it might help you get to where you're going a, a little bit sooner. But you mentioned it. I mean, yeah, when, when they tell you, hey, get on that line over there, get in line, but call Go on to the website, uh, Delta's website, uh, now getting back to normal along with the rest of it. And it, it's, it's pretty robust in terms of being able to change your plans. And they have a pretty broad waiver in place right now that, you know, if you want to refund or you want to uh, change your flight to another day, they'll let you do that. But also be creative in terms of telling them how flexible you are. You know, they're going to be looking for the next flight for you to the same destination where you're booked. If you're flying to New York, LaGuardia, they're going to look for that next flight to LaGuardia. If you don't mind going to Newark or JFK, tell them that. If you don't mind going to Philadelphia or Hartford, if that gets you close to where you're going, tell them that because they won't assume it and it could make the difference. You know, one of the things I thought when I saw this this morning is this shows us just how vulnerable we really are in this technological age. For 99.9% .9 of the time, it means we can organize, get everything done faster, easier. But how vulnerable are we, Seth? Well, yeah, we, we kind of see the answer this morning, don't we? And, and in the case of Delta, uh, you know, this is an airline that comes into this actually with a rather good reputation, uh, you know, sort of a leader in terms of IT. And so, you know, on one hand, it sort of has a lot more of what you might call political capital with, with its customers. They're probably, generally speaking, not saying, oh, not again on Delta, which they would have said a decade ago, which they would say on other airlines. Uh, but on the other hand, if this can happen at an airline that's regarded as, as one of the best, an airline that, by the way, interestingly, doesn't outsource most of these systems, as most airlines do. These are in-house systems, Delta's people running them. If it can happen at Delta, obviously, uh, yeah, this can happen uh, not just at any airline, but at any company. We've seen outages like this in, in, in many industries, for sure. Well, good luck to those folks who are stuck at the airport. Seth Kaplan, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris.